Callum, uh, tough conditions on, on Saturday, but uh, a thoroughly deserved victory and one that's long overdue. Definitely tough conditions, yeah. I think it's the worst I've played in personally, wind-wise. Um, but we managed it well, as you say, it's the same for both teams. I think they had good spells of the ball, but we defended magnificently. We, I think we had the clear-cut chances in the game as well, and great ball from Adam and finish on tall, yeah. Come away with the victory, finally. You said to me on the pitch after the game um, that the win's been coming, um, something we've been saying all season long. Um, did that make it even sweeter at full-time? Yeah, as, as I said, it has definitely been coming performance-wise and that was probably one of them games where performance, we haven't been as good as we have been in other games where we've drew or, or lost, so it, it just shows it doesn't always matter how, how you play. But as I say, the conditions were tough and going away to Barrow at any time of the year is difficult, so to come away with the results, we're really happy, yeah. Looking back at those scenes at full time in front of the travelling supporters, um, it was a, a wonderful moment for, for everyone involved. Definitely. Um, personally, I noticed before the game how ready the supporters was. I think they travelled in the numbers, didn't they, when, when we do our little thing where we, we sprint and give them a clap. Um, the noise was fantastic from them. They much outweighed the, the home support. So that's something that boosts us and gives us that extra 5% before we, we come out onto the pitch knowing, knowing they're with us and there was from the first whistle to the last so it was definitely for them that one yeah the togetherness which we saw like you say before the game during the game after the game and that can be so important throughout a season can't it it does yeah we've spoke before and I've said it gives you that extra bit late on in the game and the exact same again at the weekend we're, we're fighting we're, we're battling to keep balls out of out of the box, stopping crosses, blocking shots, making saves. So, as we say, we're doing it for them um, to keep to keep them with us. Obviously, they've been with us for everything this season. So, it is important that we, we give back to them and, frankly, we did at the weekend. Talk to me about the feeling in the dressing room after the game. Uh, was it relief, elation, pure joy, I imagine? Yeah, re relief, Pro probably not. I think that that's probably not the word, as I say, but joy, most definitely there was... There was joy, there was excitement. We wanted to win on Tuesday, which we done. We we won Saturday, so we're just trying to build momentum as we've been speaking about for a while now and just keep the train moving forward, yeah. Well, it just takes me on to my next question quite nicely. Obviously, on the back of the Bristol Street Motors Trophy victory during the week, um, it's two wins from two, a couple of wins in a row, and all of a sudden the table can look so different, such as the, the close nature of this division. Yeah, there's not much in it from, from the teams. We're, we're generally not looking at the table. We're just going game by game. And, and just seeing you know, what we can do because when we start picking up results and points I'm sure that the gap's so small within the table at the minute because um, we're so early on in the season that we will, we will pick up most definitely and you'll see us moving up the position. 14 appearances in all competitions for you so far this season um, you look like you're really enjoying life at Morecambe. I most definitely am, yeah. Um, I personally think that playing's the best way as a footballer is what you always, always want to do so the amount of minutes that I've had is is good and I just want to keep continuing to develop and help the team in every way possible. When you arrived on loan in the summer, did you set any goals for the season or, or is it a case of take each game at a time and just go with the flow? For me, I just wanted to, as I say, they play as many minutes as possible, which obviously I, I've started to do and I want to continue for the rest of the season. But goals, I just want to try and be in a successful team and I believe that the, the work ethic, the togetherness and the hunger that this team has got as well as the quality that we can generally do something as I say we're so early on and there's been a lot of critics for us um, so I think it's about time we we keep doing what we're doing and moving them to the side and build on what we've we've started. You talk about the critics there but is it easy to deal with when you know the quality within the camp and what this squad is capable of doing? Yeah everyone just looks at the results of course because that's what football's about but when you see, you see, as I said before, the performances that we've been been having and just having little slices of um, misfortune, it hasn't gone our way. Decisions, official decisions or things, for example, like Stotty's one over the line in the game against Notts County, which should have been another three points. It just shows that the, the, we're just on the wrong side of the line at the minute. So as soon as, as we have Tuesday, Thursday, I mean Tuesday, Saturday, we've hopefully broke that barrier now and things will start swinging in our favour. MK Dons our visitors on Saturday, 15th in the league on 12 points as it stands. Not the start they would have wanted, but a tough test nevertheless. Yeah, they're always a good outfit, aren't they? You know how they're going to play, but they've got to come into our backyard and, 
and try and do that. So I know that we'll be ready for it, the fans will be ready, and hopefully we can give them a tough afternoon on Saturday. The fact they made the playoffs last season and have a manager in Scott Lindsay who won promotion with Crawley Town, they're a side that we, we can't really afford to underestimate. I don't think the manager or the staff or the players underestimate any any team that comes um, here because anything can happen in this league, as, as we've seen throughout the, the games this season. So it's not about underestimating them, it's about just seeing the areas of strength and weakness and trying to exploit both and just doing what we what we do best, yeah.